From the unveiling of never before seen science to immersive learning through hands on courses and to connection building with colleagues, the 61st STS annual meeting is packed with opportunities for everyone. Program chair Dr. Stephanie Fuller is here in studio now with some of her must see offerings. Dr. Fuller, congratulations on what is going to be an incredible event. Now, when you were planning all of this with your team, what was most important to offer? What programs were uh, important and critical things? to offer everyone. Thanks so much, Melissa. You know, it's um, it's really terrific to see everything come together first and foremost. And from my perspective, there were really three things that were important to us. First of all, the science. That's really why we come here. So making sure that the science we had was number one, the most innovative. Um, second of all, the most current. So everything that's gonna be what's new, what's most exciting, and what's most innovative. And lastly, what's most of interest to people? What's gonna be the most applicable what is going to be changing? What is going to be really something we can take back and apply to our practice? I think the next thing is going to be content that has something for everybody. So no matter where you practice or no matter what is your style of practice, it's really important that this meeting is inclusive. So irrespective of what you're doing, it's really important that we include something for everything, everyone. And I think lastly, what's really important is that we emphasize kind of the role of the STS in terms of mentorship and in terms of training. So making sure that for future generations of surgeons and for the other advanced practitioners, whether it's our PAs or our nurse practitioners, the medical students and the residents in training, that we stay true to our identity in terms of being able to foster learning throughout the STS meeting. So very much well-rounded is what I'm Absolutely. hearing. You also have some very intriguing hands-on courses. Can you elaborate and give us a sample of those? So this is the first time we were quite ambitious with the courses. We have five hands-on courses this year, three that are relevant to aortic practice, one that's gonna be a mitral repair, and the last which is tracheal reconstruction, all of which are quite popular. These are exciting because I think they teach you the nuances, kind of the pearls of surgery and those technical aspects that you can't really learn in a book. It's an opportunity for one-on-one -on -one learning. There's gonna be a proctor at each table and you really have an opportunity to ask those very finite points and these are the lessons that are gonna stick with you. The voice you're gonna hear in the back of your head when you're doing these operations for years going forward and those finite details that you will be able to master going forward. Wow, that's that's incredible. Yeah, it's a unique what, opportunity. It's very unique. What is your greatest takeaway this year, this meeting for attendees? What would you like their great takeaway to be? I think it's really important people leave the me meeting feeling inspired. Um, it's really an incredible opportunity to be here learning about the future of our science. Um, learning about how we collaborate together to make our field better how we can really contribute to the future of cardiothoracic surgery as a whole, how we can work together, and how we can continue to train future generations. And that's something that excites us. Um, it's important to return to our practice energized and learn how we can future contribute in the future. Well, it's also meetings like this that help all of you continue to save lives. So thank you for what you do and for being here. Absolutely. Thanks for showcasing us.